Burnout is hard, but you guys are incredible. Today is the first video in a new series called Recovering from Burnout. I am completely and totally and utterly overwhelmed with the response to my recent video opening up about how I've been feeling lately and how I've been struggling with burnout. Y'all are the most loving, incredible humans on the planet. In that video, I said that I would be interested in sharing more of my life with you. And here, here we go. This is, this is an attempt. I was not very good at filming hair videos when I first started and I got it down to an absolute science where I could really well communicate information about the hairs. But then I started trying to film other things and realized that, wow, people who make really beautiful, aesthetically pleasing vlogs, that is a skill. That is an art form. So here's my first attempt at bringing you guys along with me while I work to recover from burnout. I did what I always do. I Googled it, how to recover from burnout. Honestly, probably should go see a professional about this, but everything I found and read says basically to just slow down, do the things you really enjoy. Oh, and also one of the first steps to recovering from burnout is admitting that you were burned out. So that one's checked off. We got that one taken care of, but the things that really fill my cup are the things I will be sharing with you in this video. So let's dive in and I'll show you the couple of things that I've been doing lately that have been helping me a lot. All right, I am here at the gym and I may or may not be sitting in my car right now, avoiding going in. I know that once I get in there and start the workout, I will feel better, but there is always that moment sitting in your car before you walk into the gym where you're like, do I really want to do this today? And the answer is always no. No, I don't want to go do this. But I know if I do, I'll feel better. My mood will be better. So why don't we just go ahead and make this happen, like right now. Hey guys, I am so excited to hang out with y'all while I read. Right now, I have one kiddo napping and one kiddo resting, and that means that I snag a couple of minutes with the current book that I am reading. Right now, I am reading the second book in a series, Daughter of the Pirate King. This is Daughter of the Siren Queen, written by Trisha Levenseller. It is really, really good so far. I recently read Powerless, which has been kind of a viral book lately. Everyone's reading it and really seems to be enjoying it. I sadly did not love that one. It, it was sweet, it was fun, it was fantasy, which I really like, but I didn't get sucked into it the way I was hoping. However, this series, I don't know what happened. It is basically the same principle. We have a strong female 
lead character. She goes undercover on a pirate mission. I won't give you too many more details because it will spoil it, but oh my goodness, I don't know why. The writing in these is incredible and I absolutely love it. Everything, even though this is a fantasy book, everything feels incredibly believable to me. <laughs> I'm thoroughly enjoying my time with the daughter of the Pirate King and daughter of the Siren Queen. I may or may not have kind of sort of been in a book slump before starting this series, and this series is single-handedly pulling me out of my reading slump. My book slump. Is it a book slump or a reading slump? I don't know, but anyway, let's get cozy and let's read for a minute together. Well, it looks like my fun reading time has come to a close. She was asleep with her feet hanging off of the bed, but I think she's done with her nap. Well, it was fun while it lasted. I put on a sweatshirt because I got cold. <laughs> Why, hello again. Wow, it is dark. <laughs> It is, in fact, much later in the day. I did, in fact, get more time to read today. The youngest kiddo has gone to bed. The older kiddo is entertaining themselves, and I am stealing a few more moments with my book. It has actually been quite lovely and quite restful, which I am grateful for. Something I noticed is that my phone is quite addictive, and I don't like that. I find that when I'm reading and I allow myself to get fully lost in a book, I'm a lot calmer, my mind slows down, and I'm happier. <laughs> and there's another conundrum. What I'm trying to say is I've spent too much time looking at my phone today, but I'm also like scared to pick up this book and read it because I don't want it to end. I'm in that weird place where I know I'm looking at my phone way too much and feeling quite addicted to my phone, and I don't like that, but also I don't want to read this book right now because then it'll be over and I'm enjoying it that much. Does anybody else do that? Anyway, just thought we'd check in again. I'm that far through. Honestly, I should have read way more. I'm on page 129 and there are 338 pages total. So definitely less than halfway through, but I'm dragging my feet because I'm enjoying this. Like everything about this book I am enjoying. That hasn't happened in a while. This is probably gonna be a five-star read for me, but I'm dragging my feet on reading it because I don't want it to end. I'm gonna go back to reading now. Let's do this. I finished Daughter of the Siren Queen. I, you know what? I love the book writing system. The first one, which was Daughter of the Pirate King, five stars, loved it. That was a fun time, great ride, good story. I really related to the main character. And then this one, it, it didn't hit. It didn't hit quite like the first book. It was probably about a three stars. I was really excited to dive into this and voraciously consume it. And I was really also at the same time trying to read it slowly because I was enjoying it. But I had this feeling that it wasn't going, I don't know. I just had this weird feeling as I was reading it. So I was like really taking my time with it because I didn't want it to end. There was something that happened about halfway through the book that just really kind of icked me out. And it's a personal thing. I see where she was going with it. It, it, it bummed me out for the rest of the book. <laughs> so I was really sad about that. Turn that to a three stars. All right, let's talk about this one. <laughs> if I was a really good booktuber, I would vlog my entire experience reading this series because it's so famous. Everyone talks about this and it comes highly, highly recommended. It is many people's favorite book series. If you don't know what this is, this is the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Maas, Sarah J. Maas, 
depending on how you feel like saying it. This series has like a cult following and there are very strong opinions about the reading order. I started with Assassin's Blade and I read like the first short story in it, got through that and just felt really confused. So I thought, okay, perhaps starting with Assassin's Blade is not the reading order that's going to best suit me. So then I went on to Throne of Glass and oh my goodness, y'all are gonna come for me. But Throne of Glass put me in a reading slump. I did not connect with the main character. I'll just say that the first time I read Throne of Glass, it was a two stars, maybe a one and a half. I shared those sentiments on Instagram and people told me that the series gets so much better. That yes, the first book is really hard to get through. So we're, we're on to the next book. I finally got through Throne of Glass took a break from the series for a little bit, read Powerless, didn't love Powerless, read Daughter of the Pirate King, loved it, read Daughter of the Siren Queen, felt medium about it. <laughs> and so now I feel ready to go back into the Sarah J Moss universe and hang out with Selena some more and see where it goes because apparently the series does get a lot better. Also, can we just appreciate that my adorable dog who likes to roll in mud that I have to give frequent baths to because of how disgustingly dirty he gets also ate my book. Thankfully, he just barely sampled the corners and I can still read the book itself. Like he didn't get any of the text. So we're good there. This isn't the first book that he's done this to. He also ate up my Shadow and Bone book. Also, I liked the Shadow and Bone series quite a lot. So anyway, now I'm going to dive into this for a little bit. There you have it. That's what I've been doing that's really been helping me feel better. Honestly, I didn't realize just how burnt out I was until I was really honest with you guys and shared about what was going on with me. And it's really your guys' overwhelming support that has made me feel like I have permission to do these kinds of videos. I know it was a little disjointed, but I'm trying here, okay? I will get better with my storytelling when it comes to these kinds of videos. As always, thank you so much for hanging out with me in today's video, and I cannot wait to see you in the next one. Bye.